All right, everybody, we are going to continue to go through the organizer here for our Ed Puzzle video for week, whatever this is. I always lose the weeks, but um, hey, please update the organizer if you uh, didn't. There's still some people that are not. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's plug in my little tablet and we shall begin with Terry's question right here, which I don't believe was here last time I looked. All right, write an equation for y in terms of x. So where is y? Oh, there's y in terms of x. So what that means is y equals. OK. So now I am looking at these two angles here. And do you know the angle classification of these two angles? Um, well, let's see. Let's see, they look like all uh, same side exterior angles. Would you agree with that? Would you call these SSEs? But the only thing is uh, the two lines, which would be this line and this line, are they parallel? They are not parallel. So that means that these are not congruent. But let me go back and actually read the instructions. GK is parallel to QL. GK and QL. So let's put a little arrow on these lines. They're parallel. Good. The measure of angle JML, we got that. And then we got that. Ah, HN bisects OJK. Where is OJK? OJK. Okay, so these two angles are congruent. All righty then. So now what we want to do is we're going to figure out what is the relationship between these two angles. Now I have a hunch that they're self-centering. I could be wrong. Okay, so. Okay, I had to pause the video there for a second so you didn't have to see me sweat here. But I have figured something out. I figured out that 4y plus 10 this angle here and this angle here, do you know what they're in? They are AIAs. These are AIAs, so they're congruent. So I can write 4y plus 10 right here. Now, let's do another color here. How about green? 2x uh, plus 85. And this angle right here, what kind of angles? Are they, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. These two angles right here, this angle and this angle are same, same side interior angles between the two parallel lines. So we can write, now I lost my, it's 2x plus 85. So I can write, that this angle right here, I know that this is supplementary to 2x plus 85. So it is 2x uh, is 180 minus 2x plus 85. Let me write this less sloppy way. It's not going to be equal to, but it's going to be the supplement. So 2x plus 85. That one even subtracted. That's what this angle is. <clears throat> so, and then also we know that these two angles are congruent, right? Because of the bisector. So we can say that double this, and you also get the angle. But so I have two different ways to name the angle. First way is 4y plus 10. 
The second way is two times 180 minus 2x plus 85. I can't believe I figured that out. All right. So now we just want to uh, get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 10 and divide by 4 after that. So 2, 180 minus 2x plus. <coughs> Writing a little bit further down to 180 minus 2x plus 85. minus 10. And then we have to divide both sides, and then that would be 4y equals, okay, but just divide both sides by 4. And uh, that's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. That ain't your, you know, easy breezy problem there. That's why it's a red question. You can totally do that one again. Uh, I would like to know what assignment this came from. So make sure when you're posting, can we uh, can we start? Come on now. There we go. Assign. Can you guys start putting the assignment names above your post? That will help us uh, in the searching and will help me know where where it came from. Come on, Terry, stop with these questions. All right. Okay, so in the diagram, okay, but this is a really good question, actually, because, you know, we want to, uh, we want to use all of our postulates and theorems to uh, create equations. It's a really good skill. And on your quiz today, you should have noticed there's a lot of algebra. So, you know, it will show up. All right, so let's go through this thing one by one. UR is parallel to ST. Okay, is that marked in the picture? Let's mark it in the picture. QR, ST. All right, got that. The measure of angle PMU, okay, those are all in the picture. One, two, three, four. Okay, find the values of X, Y. Well, this one is a little simpler. No bisecting like that. Okay, so we just want to find X and Y. So let's think about our angle classifications. I have vertical angles right there. Oh, hey. Alternate interior angles. Everyone see that? See my alternate interior angles right there? You know what I'm going to do with that? Oh, this one's going to fall like dominoes. 3y plus 6, darn, I thought they were both x's when I said that, equals 2x minus 20. But I'm still going to, I will still get this. All right. That is that. Alternate interior angles. I'll just write that AIAs. And let's talk about this one. Oh, what about these two? Do we know what happens with them? That's a linear pair right there. That would be 2x minus 20 plus 8y minus 14 equals 180. Always equal. A lot of times. So now. We have two variables, two equations. We're going to solve a system of equations. You remember that? We did that last year in November. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine some like terms. I'm going to put my variables on the left and my numbers on the right. Put my variables on the left and my numbers on the right. And when the terms switch sides, they switch signs. So that is a principle that I taught you last year and I'm using it, okay? Combine the, and I'll combine the like terms there. So 3y minus 2x equals negative 26. And then combine, uh, yeah, so the variables on the left, 
two variable terms. Okay, numbers on the right. So the 20 and the 14 are going to the right and they'll be positive. And then the 2x and then the 8y. I should put my 8y here and then the 2x here. Oh, it's positive. Hey, look at that. Okay, so then that becomes 8y plus 2x equals, and then what is this? Uh, 214. Okay, so check it out. Wow, I got a fortunate break there. See, the, the y's are not the same, but the x's are exactly the same. Do you remember what we do? This is one of those ones where we add the equations together and the x's will cancel. We have 11y, 3 plus 8. And then what is negative 27? Higher to do the math. Simple subtraction. 214 minus 26. 188. Okay. And then divide that by 11. Please divide by 11. Oh. Oh. Doesn't divide by 11. Now, see, even I'm wondering, did I make a mistake? Yeah, I did. But anyway, whatever. We're just going to go through the process. And if I made an arithmetic mistake, it's okay. All right, so now, um, now we got to find x. So what do you do once you have y? You can choose either equation. So I'll choose this one. And I'm going to substitute in 188 over 11. And then you would solve that and you would get the value of y. So that's that. Okay. It was a good it was a good question. I can I can finish it if you need me to, but maybe someone in the class can finish it. Wouldn't that be great? How would I know what angle? Okay, see, I did this, Franklin. Someone yell at Franklin, tell him to update the organizer. All right, three, come on now. Thank you for putting the uh, assignment name. I see I did say that, so people are not all doing it. But let's think about questions we can ask, okay? Some people make their living asking good questions. These people are called doctors and lawyers. We both spend all day asking people questions, all right? In a courtroom, you can't speak as a lawyer unless you speak in the phrase of a question. So asking good questions is a very powerful thing. You know, when I was a kid, it was like, go be a doctor, be a lawyer. You know? Even engineers, they ask themselves questions. How can I make this work? What can I do here? How can I make this more efficient? So ask a good question here don't just say i don't understand ask me okay let, let's go one by one because i want to know more specifically where do you need help i don't want to answer the whole thing all the time it's not the most efficient way when you can just do a better job of asking questions all right so let's look at statement and reason number one do you understand why that's given? You could say that I understand the given information because I know the arrows mean parallel. Then how about this next one? So the corresponding angle theorem, QSR. QSR, so we're gonna call that angle one. You remember how I did that? QSR in the other video. And IJQ, IJQ, so that would be two all right just to make it a little easier for me oh see then i see angle two and this angle three q v u q v u that'll be my angle three. Oh, see i can see i see now that they are all corresponding angles and we're using the corresponding angle theorem to say they're congruent because that is the theorem if lines are parallel 
corresponding angles are congruent. All I'm doing is saying what the theorem says. And the transitive property, look, one is congruent to two, two is congruent to three, so one is congruent to three, okay? So, you know, we've talked about that too. And now that the lines are parallel, so why would we say that? Well, that would be, see, we just said that one, and three, which are corresponding angles between these two lines. So we can say that these two lines are parallel because the corresponding angles in them are parallel one and three. And that is called the corresponding angle postulate converse. So right now we're not writing proofs all the way through, but we're just looking at our postulates and theorems and we are applying but I need to see better questions in the organizer, not just from Tariq, but from everybody, okay? Everybody, do it. All right, didn't I go through that one? All right, I, peace. Come on now, I spent all last night, you know, I was tired and I did my best to, uh, you know, answer these questions and they're still in the red section. All right, and then I even said, don't worry about that one. It's still there, it's bothering me. All right, this one didn't have a picture. Picture, come on guys. Didn't you, what, didn't you have a whole class today? It was, didn't I say in class to do this and what were you doing? That's what I wanna know. I mean, I hate to be cranky, but you know, Christopher Newport. Okay, so in class Monday, November 1st, I said, what did I say? Update the organizer for the first 10 minutes. So did you, what did you do? And why didn't you email me and say, Mr. Field, I know that the first thing you asked us to do was update the organizer. And so I wanna first and foremost apologize that everything is still exactly as it was yesterday when you made the Edpoka video. No one said any of that. So I don't know what's going on, but follow directions. All right, you know what? I'm gonna stop it right there and uh, we'll make another Edpuzzle video after this organizer is updated. And I'll grade the fact that it's not, if you want me to, uh, or, you know, give you another try. But, you know, this needs to be done. All right. Bye, guys.